Hey y'all. All right, we are going to the barn to milk this morning. I don't think we've shown y'all, or at least much, of our new dairy cow that our neighbors gave us. But uh, her name is Clary, and uh, we are going to milk her. All right, so uh, yeah. I got ready to video us bringing her in or have Kylie video and then we realized that the camera battery is dead. It was showing full and then it went straight to dead so we have a bad battery. This one has got two bars. I had to run back to the house and get it but I had to bring her in just because of routine so I missed that. The kids are milking. I'm going to go show you that and then uh, we'll do show you all some calves as long as I've got battery life. All right. Here we have Clary, and I just walked into a chicken, uh, chicken pen. <laughs> so here's Clary. You can see her backside here. Kylie is milking on this quarter. We're only milking the two back quarters and then letting the calf nurse the front two. This battery is going to die. Great day. Me and camera batteries, we try. But, uh, let's see if I can get some footage of them actually milking here. Yep. She's been giving about a gallon and a quart to a gallon and a half a day out of these two back quarters. That's with one All milk. right, y'all. So uh, round three of trying to video cows and calves today. Finally got this battery charged. It wasn't fully charged. It's showing fully charged. But here we go again. I'm going to try to show y'all, give y'all an update on the cows and the calves. And... Uh, not sure how close I can get to all the calves because some of these mommies are a little bit more protective than others. Some of them I can walk right up. Hey Gertie. Some of them I can walk right up and pet like straight off the bat even when they're still wet no problem. Others are much more protective and some are protective of calves that aren't even theirs. But that's okay. That just means they're good mommies. So here we go. All right so here is part of our herd and we have everybody together now. As you can see, here's Gertie with everyone else. And I'll, I'll find Clary here in a little bit. Actually, she's right over here. And uh, show you all the cows. So here's Clary. Hey, Clary. Go going, little girl. Yep, here's Clary. She was given to us by our neighbor. She's our dairy cow. So we are back in milk again because Gertie dried herself off after like six months. But it may be just because it was her first freshening. So anyway, here we have this guy is Big John. And uh, she's a pretty protective mommy, so I'm not going to get too close to, to him. She's the one that was protective of calves that weren't even hers. Because her mom is here and she has a calf. And uh, a heifer calf, actually here is the grandmother to Big John yep right here and uh, she has this little heifer calf and 14 is pretty calm usually I can I can mess with her calf so this is a little heifer laying here basking in the Sun here's the heifers mommy this is number 14 she's a hat brand cow from the hat ranch out west and uh, she's a very good cow and she has a history of growing big calves quickly so here we go to this little fella who is Big John um, we're gonna leave him intact because he is a very nice looking bull calf and the guy that owns the cows suggested we leave him intact because he will either purchase him from us or trade for some breeding stock so, uh, we, you know, we can't really beat that deal. Uh, I don't think we can use him for our herd as a bull, but he has a commercial herd as well that he said he would like to use him on. And then here we have, this is either Issy May or Letty, right, Kylie? Mm -hmm. Okay, this little calf right here. She's out of one of our black cows, either 18 or 20. We just ordered ear tags and the tag uh, applicator thing. So that's going to be a whole other adventure when we get ready to tag these little little girls and guys because I don't know how the I know which calves are which except for the two black ones. I'm going to have to just watch and see who's nursing on who, and then go get them tagged. So 
that's I think all the calves I'm seeing up here let me show you we've been feeding hay for weeks here unfortunately which is very uncommon it's been so dry though we've barely had any rain and uh, you know, see she's a very alert mommy 1411 is but uh, we I have a list of like uh, 14 cows including the ones that have already calved but I think we may end up with like 14 calves so uh this year so anyway let's walk down the hill and find t200 i think she's down here with her calf all right so we found two more calves here we have gertie's calf the black one the black fuzzy one that's buttercup and mirabelle mirabelle is clary's calf she's a heifer both of these are heifers actually you know the name mirabelle obviously she's a heifer but uh the neighbors also gave her to us so we they just gifted us one cow one heifer calf so uh and she's a very pretty little calf we've been really blessed with good neighbors that have just taken us in like we're their own kids just helped us out so here's buttercup and here is mirabelle here, see if I, Mirabelle is a little bit feisty because every time we mess with her, we're putting her in the barn. We're trying to figure out some kind of treat that she likes to make her want to come into the barn at night because we're pulling her at night so we can milk Clary first thing in the morning. And then we make, we're milking the two back quarters, letting her take care of the two front quarters. And uh, we just have to, uh, we figured out this morning she really likes alpha hay. So we're trying to find some more alpha hay nearby because I'm about out. So uh, anyway, there's those two calves. And here we have T200 and her calf, one of her calves. She actually had twins, a bull calf and a heifer calf. And uh, we were super excited. Um, I mean... The odds of her little calf right here. Well, I'm about to get an electric fence. The odds of her little calf. This is uh, Delilah, and the bull calf is Samson, her brother. But um, the odds of her being breeding stock are like 10% or less because heifer calves born twin to a bull calf, they share blood because they're sharing the same placenta. So basically she will probably be what's called a free martin. The odds of her being a free martin are 90%. That means her ovaries didn't develop all the way. So sadly, she will probably be a beef cow, um, but she won't be big enough to butcher till she's about two. By that time, we'll know whether she's cycling or not. If she's cycling, she's gonna be breeding stock. Um, but if she's not cycling, unfortunately, she'll be a beef. But either way, it, it's not a loss. You know, we're good either way. So, uh, and then up here, we have the other Issy May or Letty. And this is the ones, they're both exactly the same color. They look like twins. They're both heifer calves. So I don't know which, whether she's 18's calf or 20's calf. But um, we'll figure that out before I tag them and uh but these are calves from a black cow and the red calves have been calves from the red cows um i'm not sure which color these girls are going to end up being i'm guessing maybe brindle like some of the other ones we've got but we're going to start tagging probably next week that way we can keep up with whose calf is whose calf because before i get too many calves here or I can't tell it's gonna be it'll be rough to keep up with them all so there we have either Issy May or Letty so I have this little strand of wire right here separating the cows on half of the property up near the barn you can see the barn there the riding ring in the barn because they've basically eaten everything and I'm feeding hay but we got rain the other day so I'm trying to keep everybody behind me up near the barn and try to give this section of the property a chance to grow back i've been doing a little bit of bush hogging i'm going to clear off all this brush all the cedars and stuff i'll leave a few cedars on the steep parts for them to go in during bad weather 
But um, so leading, this is leading into what I'm about to tell you. I've got the wire separating the property. Yesterday, this cow, number 28, was standing on top of the hill, bawling and bawling. And I'm thinking, has she calved? Does she have a calf? Her udder didn't look big enough to have been not nursed, but she had an udder. And she was one of the ones on my list I was thinking was going to calve. So she's standing right up here on top of the hill, just carrying on like she's trying to call a calf. Well, I never saw her come down near the wire or act anything. So, well, then I saw some other cows. She tried to ride one of the other cows, and then uh, I saw the bull very interested in her. So I thought, well, maybe she's just in heat and she's just, you know, hormonal and acting crazy. This morning I came out, and she's over on this side of the fence that I'm trying to keep them out of, down by the creek, about right where she's at now, but just across the creek. And as soon as I... Uh, started walking out she ran up here into this thicket well we had a few cows out this morning because somehow a gate was opened up a little bit i don't know how that happened but we had four cows out in a separate paddock that i don't want them in so we were putting them up well she runs charges up into the brush up here so i told jack i said walk up there and see which cow it is because i couldn't tell which one it was from the far away well he goes up there and it's 28 well when he gets up there she comes charging out of the brush with a calf in tow. I'm like, okay, so she does have a calf. And uh, I've watched her, she's nursed him. It's a bull calf, he's red, which I didn't know the red cows would have, or the black cows would have red calves, but um, they do. But uh, I'm kind of apprehensive to go up here and see if I can, I know about where he's at, but I'm not sure how she's gonna act. The black cows seem to be a little more testy and not quite as laid back and chill as these red ones. I don't know why that is, but um, it just seems to be what's going on. The calf, I believe, is about two days old. A day, at least, he's over a day old. But um, I'm gonna walk up here, I think, and see if I can find him, as long as she's not gonna tear me up. All right, so right now we've sneaked up here. We're behind the brush, and I think we can ease up here to her calf. She doesn't know we're here, to my knowledge. No, she's down there with her head down grazing. So let's see if we can ease up through here and find him. Okay, well, so there you have it. We can't find him, but he's over here. She's good at hiding him. All right, well, we're gonna ease back towards, let me get right here, okay. We're gonna head back towards the house and uh, some hawks flying. Head back towards the house and um, I've got to go mow some grass. I just wanted to get a video together because we promised a cow update and due to weather, yesterday it was super windy. We couldn't video really good. And today we were having camera battery issues. So uh, anyway, I'm going to go mow some grass, y'all.